Okay, quick rundown. My good buddy Sack and I, Tessaro, will open 24 packs of a new set starting from 1.0, accumulating cards every week throughout the series. We'll get the typical best two out of three, and then during the next week, the previous owner will get to open five extra packs of any set we've done so far, and the loser will get to craft one super rare and one rare that they've already pulled, and also use a lifeline, which is usually another craft. Um, pretty basic stuff for these kind of series. And so, here's the Digimon card game something series. Welcome to week seven. Before we start, there's a few things we need to go over. The first thing here is we never formally introduced our lifelines, so here they are. The lifelines are Three of them are crafting lifelines and two of them are opening packs. They are, you can craft one less super rare or two rares uh, and or promos. And then or four uh, commons or uncommons combined, like uh, any mix of commons and uncommons. Um, and then the other two lifelines for opening packs are either three from the current set or three from last week's set. And from now on, we'll probably Post up a little graphic whenever the lifeline is used so that you can better keep track. Um, and of course the rules for these are that once you use, use a lifeline, you can't use that one until we decide to reset them. And we'll probably reset them like every few weeks or so just so they're more they're you know constantly available to us. But yeah, sorry that's been a little um, unclear. Probably going to the next season, uh, they probably won't be using lifelines uh, anymore because partly because of stuff like this. Um, so look forward to that. Next thing on the docket is the current ban list. You know, every three weeks we decide to ban a couple of cards based on our win rates. Um, I won one week, Sack won, Sack won two weeks, so I get two bans and he gets one ban. As before, Magdrigmon, Positron Laser, and Puppetmon are still banned from the previous ban list session. And on top of that, we now have Wyvern's Breath, Lord Knight, and Matt banned. For my bans, I decided to ban Wyvern's Breath and Lord Knight, you know. Uh, this shuts down two common decks that Sack has been using to shut me down. Um, really glad not to have to deal with Lord Knight anymore for sure. Um, and Wyvern's Breath is there for a number of reasons. Uh, for one, last week he beat me with security control. That uh, wasn't fun. Taking away Wyvern's Breath will make his security a lot less frightening. Um, and on top of that, even if he isn't playing security control, he's not unlikely to be running Wyvern's Breath just as like a random security bomb. And it's something I really didn't want to deal with, so it's it's gone. Um, you might be wondering why I didn't ban something like Mag uh, Magna and Gmon if I wanted to get to security control. But to be honest, I kind of wanted to see him try it again. Just a little bit, like, on a future future episode. Just, like, not right away. Currently, it's like it's probably still, like, disincentivized to not to, to play security control. Because of the lack of the removal and taking away weapons by, you know, makes him let lose the removal that he would need. Since I managed to win a week, Sat got to ban, and he banned Matt Nishida. Probably for obvious reasons, this kind of takes me off of the aggro uh, Gabu Bond strategy. Um, Gabu Bond, the, the card, is still available to me, but Matt Shida is pretty strong even outside of that uh, in some circumstances. Just extra memory gain and draw, it's pretty nice. Um, but like, either hit works just fine. Um, this is kind of like a fair hit in the same way that me not banning uh, Magna Angimon still means he has that card available to him. Him not banning Gabu Bond means I still have that available as a top, at le top end level 7. Um, and we'll see if that ever like happens, but it's nice that it's still available to me. And this banning this card only really specifically shuts down the aggro Gabu Bond deck. But out of the way, let's introduce the set we will be opening this week, BT7. Uh, next adventure. Probably one of the most powerful sets in our history. Um, it has like some of the most banned or limited cards uh, of any set in the game, right? And not just that, but like the cards in this set also directly led to the ban our only card that's actually banned banned because everything else is limited. We only have one banned card and that's Mega Digimon Fusion. And this set is the reason why. Very powerful set, very focused on the hybrid archetypes, um, but there's also a handful of things outside of that. But you know, the hybrids really what took over the game uh, after this point, blue and yellow hybrids specifically, it, they just became like the only thing people played. Not really the only thing people played, but like competitively, it was like the only decks that were like, they, they were just topping more than everything else by like a wide margin. Extremely powerful set, go over everything thing real quick. Red got, you know, really powerful red hybrid support. Now, red hybrid wasn't really strong out of the gate even during this set, but like a lot of the cards that we got here would, you know, eventually see a lot of play in the Red Hybrid decks uh, after BT12. Um, Aldemon is a crazy card, Burning Greymon is nice, Flamemon is really good, you know. Aldemon, like, these hybrids that, you know, reduce the Digivolution cost by two are absolutely nuts. Probably, uh, this, this, this effect is crazy in uh, turning on just 
great tempo, right? It's, it, it was, I, I feel like it was meant to supplement the fact that with uh, with hybrids, if you're evolving, if you have to play a hybrid and uh, play a tamer and then evolve over it, you're gonna be evolving into six a lot slower than say evolving into a rookie for free. Like if you treat tamers as a rookie, you have to pay the play cost of the tamer, right? Uh, so it's like the same cost as playing a Digimon and then evolving from there. So I guess to to help catch up hybrids. They gave them level 5s that can evolve for a reduced evo cost, but on top of that they had all really solid effects and that was probably what really pushed this, these cards over the top. Uh, especially some of the... for the two archetypes that really popped off, Beowulf and Jet Selfie are insane. Because not only do they have the, the cost reduction, but they have solid effects on their own. Jet Selfie having recovery 1 is nuts and it made... Yellow Hybrid, just one of the stalliest decks out there. This is now limited to one to stop that, and it was much needed decision. Uh, yellow Hybrid was slowing games down considerably. There's just a lot of Yellow Hybrid, Yellow Hybrid, hy Yellow Hybrid mirror matches that were just going to time constantly, just because of how good this deck was at stalling out. On top of that, the one cost Evo level fives typically meant that you can evolve into them while keeping turn, uh, especially if you've just started with three, evolving for two into a hybrid, and one into a level five hybrid. You can evolve into level 6 right after, and uh, Yellow Hybrid especially abuse that by playing just a toolbox of yellow level 6s that help them stall the game even harder. Blue also got a lot of really strong par powerful cards, Tommy's hybrids in particular, Akumamon and Korikakumon. Uh, Akumamon is just okay, it strips one card, but stripping sources is exactly what you want because Korikakumon is the payoff here. Just if you evolve it over a hybrid or a Tommy, you just stun a sources card and at this is just a really really cheap and aggressive way to stun cards and it really made blue hybrid just really annoying to deal with you could never establish a board and do anything with it because they just it infinitely stay stunned usually and not able to do anything and even if they aren't stunning things you know korikaku can you can evolve into korikaku stun one card then immediately follow it up with evolving into beowulf attacking with it and then bouncing another card with its effect to um, return a hybrid to your hand to, to bounce the same level hybrid or lower. Um, and that also meant that you could uh, infinitely re recur some of these cards too. Like, for Kari uh, you know, that's for stuns, but then when you add Beowulf, this ability to take back your Kari Kalkumons back to your hand, you suddenly are faced with 8 stun effects. That on top of their general aggressiveness meant that they won pretty quickly. Um, now, when it came to the Transcendent uh, Hyperspeed Revolutions, we had Emperor Grey and Magna Gururumon. They saw a little bit of play. Uh, Emperor Grey was... I mean, we have the Tamers that both allow you to warp into them, introduced in this set, right? Red Hybrid was generally not even as played as Blue Hybrid, though it was still fairly viable. Um, but it turned out Takuya was, of these two warp Tamers, it was the one that ended up being played a lot more. Um, especially, you know, once they got the additional support. But both of these level 6s, Magna Garu and uh, Emperor Grey, very solid cards. Emperor Grey would eventually get outshined by a new version, uh, but this one is still fairly solid. Uh, this one just has like a really niche circumstance that can be used in. I mean, it's not exactly niche. It's it a finisher in a similar sense to Blitz Omni, but it was a lot more conditional since you needed the hybrids in your trash for the Warp the Kuyu effect. Um, and then all this basically did after that was just a swing for a game. Um, in retrospect, in, in comparison, Magna Garu was both a removal tool because it, you return a hybrid in traits from its distribution cards to return the same level or lower, right? Or same level exactly, not or lower. Um, and since the Koji lets you just put any hybrids from your hand underneath of it to warp into it, you can just put another Magna Garu underneath and bounce level six is all you want. Um, very obnoxious. And on top of that, it has the unsuspend effect, which meant it, it was commonly letting them swing twice, which really helped them push for game. But as it went on, Blue Hybrid gradually stopped using Magna Garu as much, um, and then Red Hybrid really didn't really have much of a choice but to play Emperor Grey. Um, its gameplay outside of it wasn't as solid as Blue because, you know, Red Red didn't get as really strong as removal. Blue had the crazily annoying stun effects and Beowulf bounce, and Red just has, like, DP boosting and... Burning Grey is good, right? 14k DP pop is really strong, but it's not as flexible as what Blue has had, had going on. Instead of Magna Garu, what really happened, what really Blue ended up doing was playing super aggressive with level 3 hybrids to put them in your trash. Uh, level 4 hybrids too, just to put them in the trash, 
playing analog youth to have a white tamer out and put even more cards in the trash and then eventually playing mega digimon fusion to evolve into Susano for one as like a big high damage finisher and this strategy was so obnoxious and so effective that mega digimon fusion got banned outright for it other than that in red metal greymon and uh or Garurumon, not great super rares no one really ended up playing them which is kind of sad because I feel like they were they were meant to be like the face of the set. They're like Metal Greymon's like on the cover of the set, uh, but they just don't they, uh, they just didn't work out for the tempo of the game. Especially it didn't help that you get their on play effects, which generally incentivize you to play them from your hand, um, and then that just made them food for Kori Kakumon stun. So you just threw a, a bunch of memory to get basically no Digimon in that circumstance, and then Yellow has a bunch of removal to to deal with it as well. So. They just won't end up, uh, ended up playing well. Um, but Red got Avenge Kidmon, and this is actually a notable card. It returns all options in both layers trash to reduce its play cost, and then either deletes a 3 Musketeer or AKDP. Um, and you, this reads like a card that's specifically meant to beat 3 Musketeers, but it ended up being played just for the effect to return cards from trash to your bottom of your deck, which in security control allowed you to basically never run out of cards. So that was like the, the big thing. And occasionally some purple decks that were like very um, combo heavy that like dug through their deck really quickly, occasionally also played Avenge Kid for the same reason. So Avenge Kid, very notable card as well. There's the Waymon thing, which is a, a solid like low rarity um, archetype. Uh, it's very similar to Lord Knight in that you evolve into a level 4 that when attacking plays one that are in their heart at level 5. Um, it's, it's diet Lord Knight, but that's still really strong. In a low rarity, low power format such as this, this is something to to really consider. Um, outside of yellow hybrids, yellow got the really short synergies into the stick, mainly in the high rarity stuff. Um, Harrismon, you know, is an alt heart, and then Rasenmon and Kazuchimon both got alt hearts, and they're both like the super rares of the yellows in the set, and they do, and they both really saw like no play whatsoever. I mean, not really whatsoever. People like coped and tried Resenmon, but it really like, didn't break into competitive. Uh, same with Kazuchimon. It has a neat gimmick and like it can recover you up to up to 3 if you're at 0, but that's a really like specific use case. 5 cost evo really isn't going to cut it, especially if you're not recovering with this. All you're getting out of this is a 3 cost sec plus 1 level five level 6. Um, and the game is just getting past the point where that's actually any good. I mean, of course you have like a bunch of other effects that like help with this. Like you can't, this is reliant on your sources and you're not going to have sources against blue. And you don't usually don't have bodies against yellow. Uh, green got some interesting stuff. Green hybrids were actually really commonly played. Uh, Rhino Kaibo Terrymon, again, is a one cost evil with a crazy, crazy effect that lets it evolve into an insect or 10 warriors in your hand for a cost of 3, specifically, which gets around the high e evo cost of like Ancient Beetlemon and Ancient Troyamon. So it had a really solid game plan in and of itself there. Um, add that, the fact that uh, JP, the, the tamer for this uh, archetype, reduces the evo cost of hybrids, and you have a very efficient game plan going on. Uh, commonly, you saw players play pairing it with red, so you can get more aggression out of uh, Atomic Inferno. Green also got a really fun gimmick in Mami Tiramon. Now, Mami Tiramon is a clone of Jagamon. They both have the same exact effect of uh, looking at the top three of your deck and getting to evolve for free until level six that you reveal. You know, very inconsistent, very luck reliant, very slot machine. Really huge payoff for you if you can pull that off. Some people went for it. There is a card Tordomon here that really lets you just guarantee it since you get to reveal a card and then place it on top of your deck. So, you know, it wasn't super competitive, but people did play it because it's, you know, very fun to do. Um, it was like one of the only th things besides hybrids that Green even had going on for it. It wasn't super competitive, but people played it and people won with it. So it's a thing. Uh, I bought one one here as well as a super rare. Sure, you can like stop your opponents from unsuspending, but not really. It's up to them to discard a card to do so. Uh, usually it was like, not even a deterrent at all. And then it just didn't really accomplish anything outside of that. Not great. Uh, black, a bunch of interesting cards. Uh, black hybrids is the thing. They got Grumble and Gygasmon, but they're just generic. So they, you can't really build around them or anything like that. But the the main things that, that they got were the Dorumon cards, going all the way up to Durugamon, and the Dark and Dark Knightmon. And both of these archetypes didn't really see too much play right out of the gate. But they, it just is a solid groundwork for when they would eventually get more support. Uh, notable cards are the Door of Greymon, which eventually got banned when, you know, when Alphamon actually did start being 
a playable deck. They wanted to, it was like the dominant, and so they needed to tone it down eventually, and this is the card to do it. It gave extra security attack, which with the with the archetype's ability to stack extra ones, you got them, you can get, you can stack multiple pretty easily. And on top of that, it made you uh, immune to being deleted or having your DP minus for an entire turn. So one of the first really strong protection effects that we've seen, this card had to go to make uh, Alpha Mon reined in. Um, but at the current moment, Without Alphamon, the deck is not consistent enough to do much of anything. Dorgoramon payoff isn't super nice that right now, but I guess that's somewhat playable, especially here if we can pull enough of them. Other than that, there's the Dark Knight Mon stuff, and this archetype is basically three cards right now, Skull Knight, Deadly X, and Dark Knight, which means it's not really enough to make a full deck. People typically supplemented it with like D Brigade stuff, um, and then like does they have one searcher, which is nice, I guess. The, the neat gimmick here is that Skull Knight Mon can attack Put the X underneath of it, and then mid attack evolve into Dark Knight Mon for free. Uh, it has to be Deadly X on the board, right? So you can evolve Skull in the back, play Deadly X for four, Deadly X searches for your uh, extra cards, and then on your next turn you can swing, evolve into Dark Knight for free, get security attack plus one, um, which is neat. And then you know if you would delete Dark Knight Mon, it plays the, the Skull Knight and Dark Knight X back out. Obviously, there's like a clear issue with what's going on here is that this is like your line on attacking a Skull Knight Mon if it. If it's done, you can't do so. This is very peace reliant. You need Skull Knight and Deadly Axe and Dark Knight Mon to make everything work. Uh, you Deadly Axe to you have to play Deadly Axe and have it stick on the board for the Skull Knight Mon effect to work. And on top of all of that, sure you get two checks on Dark Knight Mon and you're supposedly trying to have that stick on the board, but against Blue, your sources are stripped, and which means you'd have no additional effect anymore on Dark Knight Mon. It's like groundwork. Uh, it would eventually get more support in the cross related set to make it more of a, more of something. Man, Purple got some stuff. Look at that. Aizmon and Aizmon Scatter Mode both at 1, which goes to show just how powerful these cards were. On deletion, draw 3, discard 2. Of course it's on deletion, which means that oftentimes you're swinging it and then 4 KDP is big enough to survive, you know, any rookie more or less. So there's a joke going around that he has jamming because he often didn't die to security when you really needed him to. Um, be but before Scatter Mode got banned, Eyes Gone On got banned because when you discard it, if you have Scatter Mode in the trash, you get to play it for free, which absolutely insane effect, absolutely Yu-Gi-Oh level effect right here. You could do some crazy combos with this in the future cards, especially with the Chimera Mon, but even before then, just having uh, a Digimon move up, swing, die, and then spawn two, two or three of these is was well, just too much. It was just too aggressive, too powerful. Besides that, there's the Shubimon cards. Now, Wendigo and, T and, and Tielamon themselves didn't see a lot of play. They're they're very awkward cards that place a three cost tamer specifically from the trash. Yeah, that requires some additional setup that makes Tielamon not really easy to work with. Wendigomon also not great uh, since it's reveal five trash to tamer cards among them and then place their win cards. This is like just a non-value card. It exists to set it for Antilamon, but it's not consistent and it does nothing else for you. They just, it's just gonna often just reveal five bottom all of them. Not great. Discarding cards for effects in general got a boost in this lineup. Uh, Orochimon exists. Not not the most played card, but it, you know, it's there. Uh, but Nidhogmon did get played a lot because memory gain is always powerful. This is basically free memory gains with how much you're gonna be discarding in purple at this time. There's Shurubimon, which did see a lot of play. I didn't see a lot of play in Japan, but English players seem to love it. There's a lot of brews going around with Shrubimon at the time. The primary thing you're looking with this card is to get the on deletion off, since you get to play level 3 for each uh, tamer you have on, on deletion, which lets you, and it's not color specific too. So you can just do some crazy stuff with this. Uh, people were, were trying to set up things, Bushi Agumon in the trash to just go for a big push for game. Or you can play like Bokomons too. Uh, Bokemon is a crazy card from this set that basically make, made evolving into a hybrid for free since you would gain two memory and if you have multiple that you got from Shurubimon you'd get a bunch of memory off of this. Bokemon in general is just a really annoying card to see. Huge consistency boost for for any hybrid deck card and then you either dealt with it or it would just be continually giving your opponent like two memory which is a lot. And then purple got its own hybrids but like they're they're okay. I mean Luimon is, is a vanilla which is not what you want to see. Kaiser Leo is like Retaliation, which is is fine, um, but retaliation can sometimes be non-value if you don't have like your opponent having specifically a large body for you to trade with that's suspended. Um, and then Rihimon, probably the weakest of the one-cost Evo level fives uh, hybrids. 
because his effect is specifically on deletion. A lot of what you're looking to do with uh, level 5s in this case was either to, to evolve into level 6, which you can, you can evolve this into Tribumon, but then you miss out on the on deletion, and a lot of other level 5s um, have effects that they can pull off before evolving. Uh, otherwise, this is more similar to Beowulf, and then you're trying to use it aggressively, but it's kind of reliant on you dying, and then the effect that you get is just sort of like a resource management type of effect. It's not like tempo gaining like Beowulf is. So it just sort of just works out that it's sort of the weakest of the bunch here. Um, but people still played purple hybrids usually as like a, an engine for the Tribumon deck. Or there's actually just a purple hybrid aggro deck out there. Um, because purple has like enough ways to like get memory off of things dying that you can actually realistically just sort of like go for like a, a aggressive fast win. Just stuff like the back of just a general purple shenanigans. And then the purple hybrids are just there to be hybrid for game. Uh, secret rares. So Xanomon is not super crazy. Um, bottom 10 tamers and or hybrids in your trash to evolve it over a tamer, which seems like, and we're seven costs, that seems like you, you evolve into this, you can delete something and then pass turn and your opponent gets to do a counter play. Um, but with Mega Digimon Fusion, this card became absolutely insane. And even without it, yellow hybrids tend to play it anyway just to refill their deck uh, so they can keep stalling out for, for an eternity. The other secret rare is Lucid One Chaos Mode. 14 play cost that gets reduced by 3 for every 10 cards in your trash. You're never going to get this low enough for this to be worth it, even with the on-play effect that lets it delete a level 6 or lower, or a tamer. It's just too expensive. Yeah, you can evolve it over Lucid but Lucid itself is like a 5 cost evo, and it's still going to cost 7. So, uh, in a vacuum, it's not great. Dead or Alive makes it somewhat playable, especially if you get that alive in security and then play Lusamon off of it, then that's a huge bomb in a lot of cases. Lusamon has it rough, and it was only like really played once there was more ways to cheat it out, and that came mostly in the like, future sets. For notable options, there's Calling from the Darkness, which got limited to one. It is facilitated a bunch of nutty resource loops, uh, especially with cards that return options from the trash to hand like the Lilithmon. So it eventually had to go because it was enabling like infinite combos in those decks. But even with outside of that, just this crazy card. There's a lot of instances where you want to delete your own Digimon to activate your on deletion effects, which makes this crazy. And the only other option besides this was, was Deathclaw, and Deathclaw deleted in points level 4. If there's no level 4 to, for you to delete, this this just got you more value. And the fact that you can also just play this on an empty board, just to return purple cards from your trash to your hand uh, on its own is also crazy in terms of resource management. Really, really strong card overall and probably one of the strongest options we got of this set. Most of these other cards really saw almost no play. People tried making jinky combo decks with Electric Rush. They weren't super successful, but it, it's a thing you can do. You can use this to unsuspend Lord Knight and get another body out. Wow. On to the pack opening. Okay, welcome to BT7. 24 packs. Let's do it. You got, yep, there's these combos in there. Come on, alt as well as come on. Hmm. King Waymon may be an option if I only stick to blue. The split the, the, the bands. Hmm. I almost forgot about Metal Mamemon. Metal Mamemon's a pretty interesting strategy. Because we have, do have solid enough green packages, I think, that we might be able to do the gotcha green strategy. More Metal Mamemon. Coromon. Gotcha green looking nice. These two aren't super impactful, maybe except for maybe the Goba Goma for King Laimon. Dorogoromon is our first super rare. This is actually kind of a solid deck, but I think it was carried a lot by Dorogreymon, which is hard locked as a one of only due to the, the way you're playing the game. So Dorogora probably isn't going to work as well. Uh, Beowulf has a really good comment at least. Blue Hybrid is probably going to be... Like, I've already been just playing blue in general, so blue hybrid could be a strategy I could lean towards. I don't think Dark Nightmon is quite it just yet. I know we're get, we can get some Skull Nightmons to make this a kind of an aggressive strategy. Could just be something we hold on to until BT10. But I'll think about it. I'll think about it. There's Scatter Mode. We only get one, unfortunately. Discard Aggro. Can it be hard to, to pull off with only one Scatter Mode and only one Aizmon? Okay, so here's some more blue hybrid cards, so now we're leaning more towards that. Then we need to, need to see some more Kori Kakumon if we really want to do uh, blue hybrid. That's what really breaks the deck. Chaos Dramon? Fortunately not the good Chaos Dramon, and I think it, I think I'd need Machine Dramons first too, and I don't think I don't have any Machine Dramons, so... 
probably not happening. Uh, Torchamon is good with Metal Ma 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 Mame Tairamon, so gotcha green. Could be a thing. Kind of leaning towards it right now. Uh, let's see here. Nidhogg is good for any purple discard shenanigans. I uh, didn't pull too many Titamons last episode, so I'm not sure how good discard purple decks would be good right now. But maybe if we play like purple hybrids or purple aggro, just having Nidhoggmon around is be good. We do have Rehumon here for purple hybrids. And short Sozots might be a really good reason to be leaning towards purple hybrids. Getting a lot of these. These are probably like the worst supers to pull in this set, unfortunately. They just did not stack up. They just didn't mesh well with the, the with the strategies at the time. Uh, Dorumon. Okay, this is good for later for when we get to Alphamon in the BT9. Like I mentioned before, Dor Dorumon is a strategy we can go towards. I'm kind of concerned in how good that could be with only one Doru Gray. Oryumon is the next set too, so maybe we can play Oryumon and you're gonna use Dorumon in that. In that. So, nice to have at least a couple of these Dormons. Ancient Polka, Dark Knight. That's my second Dark Knight. Might have to start considering it then. I don't know. Skull Knight is a good card, I think. Okay, Rasenmon is another super rare. Not sure about how I feel about Rasenmon right now, actually. Maybe with the lower power of the format overall, especially after the bans. Maybe Rasan 1 can climb to a position where it's actually playable, but it's still rough overall. This card did not see that much play in the actual format. Okay, there's the other yellow super rare, Kazuchimon. I think Kazuchimon is actually really solid. Uh, being able to recover 2, or even recover up to 3, since he recovers you until you go to 3, could be really clutch actually. And he's a sec plus, so he's fairly aggressive. This is like either my 3rd or 4th Mami Tiramon now, so I think I can heavily consider Gacha Green. Especially with all the Coromons I've been getting as well. Just might be on the menu. Okay, Betamon to make. Like, Junior Green Searcher is nice. More Tortomon. It's like where my eyes are going. My eyes are going towards Gotcha Green. Trubimon. There are definitely viable Trubimon strategies in Constructed at this time, but they require a lot of really specific pieces to put together, so I'm not fully certain about Trubimon right now. Maybe if I pull a couple more. More Mabitiaramon. Mugen might be cool too. It's a nice fog effect, right? Actually, it only suspends one Digimon, so... It really is like a... Kind of a... Yeah, Mugen was not played because it's just too expensive as a stun. Yeah, it's kind of similar for, to Forbidden Temptation, which was also briefly played at a time, but this is just not great. There's Harrismon. Which could be good if we are going to go for that one of Rasenmon. Not on, not likely, actually. I don't know if yellow, like, toolbox could be a thing. Because they do have the Shines, the Kazuchi, and the Rasen. But I'm not super confident that that will turn into anything super uh, valuable right now. Oh, just noticed. We got more Karikaku and Kumamon. That's really good. Blue Hybrid could be a really solid choice for a deck for me. Getting a couple of these ev ancient evolutions. I'm wondering if it's good for anything. I think right now none of the ancients are like just worth going into in general, even if you're skipping a level to get there. Okay, second so Cherubimon. So maybe now I have to start considering Cherubimon purple hybrids as a strategy. I'm surprised I haven't seen more of the King Waymons with it being uncommon. I think King Waymon is actually a fairly solid low um low rarity strategy to go for actually. And could be a way to to convert my blue packages into something else, right? Okay, more rares that we're not looking for. Getting way too many of these Metal Greymons, it's not good. I'm surprised we haven't seen more of these promos. We saw one in the first pack, it was Ophanimon, and now we're seeing Vikemon. We're just going blue toolbox level 6s. Vikemon's not terrible. More Koryukaku is also appreciated to see, if we do want to go to two blue hybrids. But I think I would need more blue tamers. I don't, have, I don't remember seeing that many Tommies that we pulled yet. We, opened, we did pull one Koji, but we think we need to pull more Tommies if we want Blue Hybrid to be viable. Okay, a Bond Woman. It's a bad card, but could be a Gacha Green payoff in a way. Mm, definitely might throw this one in if I do end up playing Gacha Green. Okay, getting a couple of these Dynarexes, which is a... It's a fine top end for Gacha Green, because it's a nice stun effect. More King Waymons is good, cause, and Waymons, because again, Waymon could be super viable. That's just my second Ofani. 
I'm probably not gonna go for it. Mori Korikaku is good, but again, no time is concerning. Hmm. Magna Garurumon. Ooh. That means we pull at least one Koji and one Magna Garu, which makes that sound kind of viable. Maybe you only get one each. It's not gonna be super great because it's not gonna be super consistent. And I don't think I pulled any Tommies, which I think kind of makes Blue Hybrid not super great of a choice. On the flip side, I did pull another King Waymon, but they are commons. So I think the two strategies I'm mostly looking at right now are the King Greymon strategy or the Gotcha Green strategy. I can double check, but if I have more than one Skull Knightmon, then I might actually consider playing Dark Knight. I think that's going to depend on how much black removal that I have, because I think the removal is going to be the important part here. Okay. Despite us not pulling too many of like the really high-powered stuff, like we didn't pull any Tommies it looks like, there's still a couple of directions I'm being pulled towards. Actually, yeah, there it is. There's a Skull Knight one, so we do have more than one. So, Dark Knight is a consideration. I've added the cards to my collection. I'll see you later at deck building, and by then I'll hopefully decide between which of the three strategies I've been thinking about. Welcome back to Digression. Winner POV, back again. Uh, we are fresh off the ban list. Looks like Tessero is hating on our Lord Knight and our Setcon, so... We'll see what we can do this week, uh, opening up a full box of BT7. Let's see what we can get. Uh, tough. Black rares, no, uh... Got some hybrid commons, that's really all we're looking for out of this set. There's a lot of limited cards this week. Uh, there we go. Yeah, Zoe, Koda, those are good cards we want to see. Our one of Scatter, perfect. Uh, Koji, nice. Rihi. Good. I think uh, Purple Hybrid is what I would be most inclined to play. Cherubimon type shit. Uh, second Koji. Okay. Our one of Jet Sylphie. Chilling there. Kuma. Nice. A Burning Gray. Yeah, just ideally getting a playset of all these low rarity hybrid cards. Takuya, Veo. Very good. I mean, Waymon is very low rarity. <laughs> if we end up getting all that stuff, it, it could be a fun switch up and see how Tessero likes me going into blue. Uh, nothing too crazy here. JP, okay. Koichi, got a Nemon. Another low A, yeah. Really uninteresting set to me. I mean, really, like, super powerful set in real life, but, uh, post, like, getting this set with all the nerfs in it. Oh, great, these promo cards are in here in the rare slot, okay. Uh, I think Serafi is the only one that was even thought of played, thought of being played in the real game. But man, our rare slots just keep getting fucked. <laughs> uh, Venge Kid is awesome. I forgot about this. I definitely want to see more of him. Oh, Evan Wu, sick. The Nightmare Judge Test ruling card. Card is so complicated for no reason. Uh, Nidhog, awesome. We have a little bit more purple discard. Uh, shit. <laughs> Oh, I pray Tessero didn't get this card. This is his little baby, Lusamon. <laughs> oh, Kazuchi, very good. Very good. I kind of, I really like playing yellow. I like sticking with it. Uh, uh, ideally, oh, there's our, oh wait, no, Tommy, unlimited. Oh, nice. This pack, <laughs> this pack uh, got one less uh, limited card. I'm pretty sure there's like four in it. There's, yeah, there's Calling. There's Calling, Aizmon, Jet Sophie, Doru Gray. That, that might be all of them, so it's four instead of- Oh, there's, there's both Aizmons. Jesus, this set. <laughs> uh, second Lucy, all right, man. Uh... <laughs> I don't know if there's even a way to cheat him out yet. Tessero would know, but if I ask him, <laughs> I might give it away a little bit. I think that that's at least two, maybe three Koichi, that's very good. Uh, Wergar, cool. Schwar is nice. Definitely wanted to see that card. Uh, DOA, that's the way to cheat him out, I guess. Adoru, we get the shitty alpha cards. Or not the shitty alpha card, but the, the shitty top end for alpha this set. But, will never catch me playing that deck. Oh, speaking of the devil, fuck you, Doru Gora. DOA again. So we got, uh, if that's our first flame mon, that's pretty sad. I'm really glad to get that Serafi if we ever... Tessero hit Wyverns, but like... Maybe I just play Setcon without big bombs. I have Schwarz now. 
Triple Lucy. Oh man. <laughs> that is our Cherubimon though. This is a beast. Uh second Dorogora, great. Uh let's see what we really got. I don't really know what Tidal Wave's a funny card for like niche strategies. We have those EX1 machine Dramons. <laughs> Uh, maybe someday that'll get played. I'm not really sure if there's a cohesive deck we can put together. We might be able to put like some yellow hybrids in Seccon, or we might be able to like do some cheeky purple stuff at this point. But uh, let's see if we can cook up something new and uh, get back to the, uh, what do I want to do, man? I guess I have more packs to open. I have my winner bonus for the extra promo. Uh, I know Tesoro took this double diamond dash pack, and I kind of want to as well, just for value. Like, I'll have two Gilmon out of it. Uh, we're giving up on the promo Black War, and yeah, nothing else is too good unless I really want to keep digging into the 1.0, uh, 1.5 pack. Yeah, I think just guaranteeing a second Gilmon. Good enough for me. And now on to our extra five packs. I actually have no clue. What I want to open here. All right. After way too much thought, I'm just taking five more packs of BT7 because I want to play new shit. <laughs> so let's flip it over, see what we get. Uh, nothing I'm particularly looking for, but another super rare is good. Um, Zoe's good. Uh, nothing else too crazy. Another Malga. Uh, more Black X anti stuff. No thanks. Uh, another Tommy, that's good. Mistake, looks like. Rosemond, sick. Okay, worth. Whatever. I, I, who knows how it would have gone anywhere else. Let's just save it. And uh, let's make a deck. Yeah. We're doing it. Gotcha, green. We're just here to have fun with this series anyway. I couldn't think of anything else I'd want to really play. I think I think Waymon would have been more viable overall, especially since I could throw the, the bonds in there. But I don't know. I'm just getting tired of playing blue. I just wanted to play something fun. I know I've been losing. I probably need to play something just more likely to get me to win. But like at that at this point, I just, it's whatever. We'll save all that for season two, maybe. I'm not really sure what, um, what Sack is going to be on, especially after the ban list. It's not like he's going to play Lord Knight again. It's not like he's, he's going to play security control again so i just said what the heck this is the random fun list to have fun with and scout out what he's doing so again this is gotcha green or gotcha green as well as i could potentially make it right now for my lifeline i'm used this week it's the four common slash uncommons so i use that to get myself extra tortomon and extra jagamons two of each because i only pulled two tortas and only had one jaga but between the three jagas for my matira and two Izzy's, I think we have enough ways to gacha. Uh, Karo and Toro help me get there. We have 10 level 6's as our targets. Plus Chaos Mon is like a nice top end. Flower Cannon for removal. Some of the best green tamers. And then just a smattering of playable level 4's and 3's. And that's just what the deck is. Not much else to say about it. We'll just... Let's... Well, I guess we'll go over the level 6's real quick. Uh, the two Hercules Habitarium Mons from the starter deck. Just a solid 6 of our, our all around. And the two Nidhogs, I think these are like just the best choices in general uh, for, for targets. Nidhogg especially. I wish I had more Nidhogs to work with this, but I only pulled two. Uh, Argomon could be really good as the one of, in case they're going into a hybrid strategy. Since it stops his tamers from being able to unsuspend. Uh, next we also have Eldorati, which is probably one more aggressive option since it has sec plus one. And this DP minus uh, immunity could matter depending on what your opponent, what, what sack is on. Uh, Dynarex is a really nice stun effect. I wish I had Mega Gargo because Mega Gargo just does more damage, but working with what we got. Uh, Ibanwu for the memes. I will get we'll to see if this is even coded incorrectly because I know this is a ruling nightmare. Uh, Ancient Beatmon, just because he has a high cost, so he's a high payoff. He could potentially do a lot of damage with his zero turn effect. And that's about it. I think I've kept Sack waiting a little too long, so let's just get into it. Alright, can you tell what we're playing this week? This is my favorite deck ever, maybe? <laughs> I love playing this deck, man. Uh, playing this little bottom end that we're supposed to pinata out like this looks pretty good i mean we're a little low on salads and bushies but uh let's look at the rest oh yikes we only have two rihi and one cherubi fuck it <laughs> we'll find them we'll find them for sure and have this cherubi pinata deck pop off and beat up tessero <laughs> uh no wyverns i don't have great kill spells i have fly bullet but my tamas are yellow so i, d I need to have a tamer down before I can play that. Uh, pulled two Schwars, 
uh, calling to self pop my Cherubi to Death Claw, pop him. Uh, be a little bit of removal too. Uh, might as well play some more yellow options. Uh, Holy Wave, maybe we'll heal this defeat in there. Uh, that'll be fun. Uh, we'll actually put him in. I know how to use reinforcing now, so that if that happens again, I should just not play the card anymore. <laughs> Uh, blinding is broken. Uh, always play this card. Uh, this is my 50th card, Holy Flame. I don't really know. Uh, it was just kind of miserable putting this together. <laughs> like, no Mimis and one Kari and one Matt. Like, one, 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 everything. Thank God I pulled three Koichi and I have access to the starter deck so I can play this shitty Matt. But yeah, Analog is a killer for this deck too. So, probably the three most powerful cards Analog, Cherubi, and Rihi are <laughs> very low copies, but uh, let's just see what happens. We beat him with worse. <laughs> see what he puts together. Disclaimer, we'll be playing our matches on DCGO, which is currently in closed beta, your testers. The public release of this will be in spring. Please be patient. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, welcome, Sack. It's post banless, so honestly, I could not tell what you could possibly be on, so I just sort of slapped together something that seemed fun. <laughs> Surely it's not Sekon again. <laughs> Surely not Sekon I again. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm a bit less worried about Sekon if, uh, <laughs> with, after the bans. And mm -hmm. you can still do it because I left Magma Energy <laughs> open. Um, but hey, if it works, then it works. You know, if you Sekon here, with no I'll, bomb. I'll try harder next week. I just wanted to. <laughs> I saw this deck and I was like, fuck it. I want to play it. <laughs> I'll, I bet it's a mirror match. I'll bet. I'll oh, bet no. anything. <laughs> uh, I'm first. Oh, Mulligan. You think here? I think. Is it possible to keep this? I think technically I can. <laughs> All right. I am still on yellow. <laughs> oh. well, I guess Go we're not playing on. the mirror match then. At least I don't have to worry about Lord Knight. What is this? Oh my god, it's this deck. And now I realize, yeah. I was uh, thinking about it. Are you gotcha green or are you green hybrid? Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm happy to see Keepmon in green, but not, not like this. Fuck. <laughs> gotcha green, baby. Uh, well... I will get a card, I guess. Um, Extra memory is nice. Yeah, <laughs> not really. <laughs> I think it matters. Sure. Mm -hmm. Just play another mat and pass. <laughs> All right, I'm going to roll the dice. <laughs> What will I get? First, let's resolve Koro to see what's in there. Mm, ooh. ooh. Well, I that's going to get revealed by yellow ones. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. This is <laughs> nice. the wrong time to go into it, though. <laughs> hmm. Do I still free have one? Free Evo's a free Evo. Free Evo's a free Evo, you're right. You even have a Lalamon in there? Oh, true. Yeah, let's just use that for the value then. Not like these inherits are gonna matter. 13k beater, let's go. God damn it! <laughs> Very uh, good. Whatever. <laughs> Here's my Tierra. Five yeah. play cons is pretty, pretty efficient. My cute mon. What is this cute mon turbo? <laughs> uh, Koichi. Okay. I'll trash a fly bullet. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a specific hit that I want then <laughs> off of this. <laughs> yeah, and you got Argomon in there. You're gonna suspend all my tamers. <laughs> oh yeah, let's find it. Uh, not all this right. time. Oh, nice, that's a good hit. Hmm. How do I wanna... Let's just drop one of these. 
Okay. Get a draw. That's fine, I was gonna proc your shit anyway. Uh... I was also considering Cherubi. <laughs> but, um, I think the thing is, is that I never built it back during this format, so I'm not, I don't have, like, the, the mindset of knowing, like, how to go about going, building it, you know? Yeah. Ooh, okay. I'll just clear this guy. That makes sense. <clears throat> and then... I'll play Boko. Can have a lot of memory. Okay, but what can I do with that memory? Kaiser gets where maybe. If I draw into Tordo, maybe. Mm, that's not Tordo. Dang, these really the little f uh, fours I have. That's fine, I guess. Okay, let's do Jagger. Hmm. Another Nidhogg. Yeah, I guess I just pray for another Nidhogg here then. <laughs> oh god. Screw it. Let's try it. Uh, that would be awful. Of course, Koro. Send that to the bottom. Then let's do... Three? Ooh. Hey, read Dino Rack. Suspend and it doesn't unsuspend. If you deny, you still have Niz Izzy Mimi? Yeah, let's try it then. <laughs> okay. I really want that Nidhogg. <laughs> no. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> let's go. Oh, that sucks. Did it reveal three? Is it supposed to do two? It is us three. Nice. Yeah. It's... Uh, check another fly bullet. Fuck. Coolio. Uh, how do I end this turn? We'll just drop carrier onto the field. This would be better if I had more Nidhogs, but I guess I got lucky to see the two that I do have. This okay. is kind of weird. Let's kill yeah. that Terrier. Huh. I was kind of assuming you were going to go Reheat Ruby, which also kills it. I was kind of worried about that. I'll just kill this too. Okay. Yeah, Riki Truvi would be nice. Okay, let me think. Yeah, fuck it. Let's get aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Alright, please die. Okay, that's... That works That's too. That's kind of wild, yeah. <laughs> we'll just end on a two drop then. Yeah. Make Bushian back. Play Matt. Oh my god, I'm so fucking stupid. Oh, do you. He's bot decked. Stupid Reed. Oh, there he is <laughs> in the bottom of the deck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. Oh, oh well. Find me Eldorati. <laughs> nope. Chaos. Oh. Uh, All right, that bomb, really please. Stop me. bomb, please. <laughs> yeah, there's your bombs. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever. Um. <laughs> I don't even know if I should go first or second. <laughs> um, I'll go. I'll go second. Yeah. Okay, that should be best. 
Hey. <laughs> Man, this is great. If I win like this, I'd be so happy. Ooh, <laughs> this is a hand. I feel like I say every week, this is my least confident week, but, uh... I don't know how you can say that this when is, you've been, this like, is probably ahead. My worst. I know! <laughs> I, never, I think Lord Knight was the only week I was like, he's so fucked. <laughs> he's okay. so dead. This is gonna pay off. Okay. Fine. Yeah? No QP this game. Just reinforce. Alright. Select one card to add to my security. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I said in deck build if I fuck it up again, I'm just gonna ban the card for myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I make this happen? That's a good enough one. Okay, let's do it. Alright, let's first let's reveal. Mommy Tira. Uh, I'll keep that. Uh, then place one on top. Yeah. Use. Get this guy. And then we'll evolve into Hercules Kabuteri mine. Yeah. Oh, I should have put. I forgot I was going to dot dot tag that anyway. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, get your little draw one, discard one. That's my cute one. That's right. Sorry. I forgot two checks because I'm second plus from Cuckoo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we'll just drop a little dude then. Little dude. It's fine. I will just reach Alan to your guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that is a thing you can do. He I'll got play on that. Which is nice. Yeah. Okay. I'll take two tamers. Could have been two defeats. Well, not really. Could have been one defeat. <laughs> is that one going to pay off, too? <laughs> Maybe. The Tessera staple, Kokua. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> Block up. Yeah. So I'll, uh, a holy wave. Let's see okay. what you make. If I had a Tordamon, I would have I would have gone for something, but I think I like the, the, the guaranteed. Your deck is actually really annoying. Thanks. It's very security <laughs> control esque. What with the Karis yeah. and the fly bullets and the holy waves. Yep. <laughs> holy waves were definitely the worst card I included. Seems um, solid enough. Sure. Yeah, I I'm will. Not die anyway. I'll use my mat. Unfortunately, I'm gonna lose my Kari for this, but. You're gonna trade or are you gonna clear your guy? So 6k, yeah. yeah. Until end of opponent's turn. Uh, yeah, I'm really annoying. <clears throat> mm. Trash defeats. Here you go. I think I just. Don't play into that, honestly. I get to keep them. <laughs> For now. Makes sense. Six K is pretty big for a little four. Yeah. Okay. So have any... no. mm. 
feel like I want this. Uh, tempo. Two checks. Bottom, actually. Keep on. Okay, fine. Nice. Damn. I'll take Koichi. Get rid of another feat. Okay. So I can. What's that? I can just just drop a level. Just five cost mammoth here. Five cost so nice. <laughs> yeah. Don't check Izzy, maybe. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, we we'll go. just fly bullet the double check guy. That makes sense. Okay. Hmm, nice. Love a beta mod. Uh, let's roll the dice. Nothing. <laughs> okay, cool. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, Whatever. Yeah, actually, I want to set up this Mimi. Seems good. Yeah, it looks alright. Boko. Yep. Ricky and Matt. Nice. Okay. This is better than you making a 6k to attack over my guy with. Mm, this is actually not great for me then. Yeah, I think this is alright for me. Yeah. Five play costs, but only 5k DP, which is pretty sad. Yeah, I'll just crash you and gain memory. Gain two memory, yeah, it's super value. It's one of the nice things about purple hybrids. It's unfortunate that it doesn't really mm -hmm. always work out this way. It's a lot more strategies just don't let you get value out of trading. Efficiently like this. Ooh. See what you got. Get mad. Okay, this is bad actually. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. I'm actually kind of screwed here. I might be dead. I mean, I don't have a 4, but even if I had a 4, I'm not going to be able to go into it without passing turn. Thank god. <laughs> but this is like my only real play. It just isn't Alright, double Boko on board. Gain some memories. Yeah. Maybe I agree by playing the Mimi. Just bring you not the, the right right time to do it. I don't think there's really a downside. <laughs> Man. I'll do it anyway. And I have the Kaiser. Let's not use that effect. for two. Oh, so he's gonna be able to do that anyway. Damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, all those beasts evolve. I gotta two. think about that more. That the fact that Mamichira the shows his name. 5k. <laughs> yeah, 5k. Yeah. Mm. Alright, your choice. My Game choice. three. I feel like last week was one of our only game threes, like ever. Maybe I think I go second. 
works for me. Yeah, I was really like trying to do the math in my head, like what I should be preferred. So, uh, I don't think I want to keep this hand. Okay. This is almost good. Could work out. Okay. Oichi. Let's pitch cute mon. Nice. Let's do Yeah. And do that. And do this now and not later. Uh it's alright. Get rid of the bushi. Never mind, you can get rid of the bushi. <laughs> I'm thinking. Alright. <laughs> First to grab. Play Kari? Yeah. Okay. I mean, he doesn't do anything in either spot, really. <laughs> I guess I could get rid of that Mimi someday. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Yeah, that works. Yeah. You got Hurricane Hand. Better. Uh, do Coromon first, see what's in there. But also... You're uh, gonna buy that kid. It's gonna yeah. be, I'm gonna buy that kid anyway. Uh, <laughs> this one. Put this card on top. <laughs> okay, you're gonna trash my side. Seems better than the Nidog in this scenario, especially since I'm attacking the VI and not your security. If I was attacking security, then... Yeah, trash the security. Double Bushi. <laughs> Alright. Uh, no, I'll let you do something. Okay. Uh, in that case, we'll just evolve another Tordo in the back. Okay. So far, so good, I think. I'll just pop your guy. No, I don't have Will a guy! Will he float? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Well. Make another one. Oh my god, I, I drew it. Okay, cool. That float would have been nice. Oh well. Ooh, that's. Hmm. I don't think I want to risk it for the risk it. Yeah, we're just gonna drop easy Mimi. I think there's much to gain out of promoting that. We'll just drop a dual team here as well. Okay. This way. So first. Okay. Now well, it's gonna get bottomed anyway. Then I'll do this one. See what's in there. <laughs> cool. I prefer this one over whatever yeah. else I was gonna get. Yeah. He checks. Can't be wyverns. Place a card on top just to get more DP. Like, I mean, I knew you have True Ruby, so that might be worth it just because of that. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be worth it just because of the case. Just for the extra DP. Evan will <laughs> choking. <laughs> Hey. There's the Jeremy. Nice. Okay. I don't know this. Uh, let's do this. Let's attack. 
bottom ditch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trash that defeat from earlier. And then choke you to one. Yeah. Tough. Oh my god. pretty good about this one. Yeah, I mean, you said you had hybrid in hand earlier, so... <laughs> Doesn't matter much what I do here. Didn't even get rid of the Yubanlu. Uh, I think I could have if Terrier wasn't there. Uh, I, no, probably not. Oh, you have a Jack or yeah. something? Oh yeah, the Boko one. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> stop the play. <laughs> nope. Oh. I'm just gonna go for it. Uh, yeah. the top card of the deck, I guess. And then probably don't need to put anything on top to gain 3k. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Figured that might be. Uh, no, happening. you hired me for game. Yeah. Only have the pedal to run. <laughs> Hybrid. We need Kendo again. For game. And he sucks. I have one yes. true of by the way. I pulled one. <laughs> you only pulled one. I pulled two, and I decided not to play the deck. <laughs> Let's pull up the deck list. Look how shit this was. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, uh, Metal Tier, he's uncommon. I pulled like six of them, and I was thinking, as like, man, I haven't played Green in a while. Gotcha Green sounds like a fun time. I had those Nidhogs from before, only two, but saw them when I needed them. We got yeah, the only two, and you extra dug for the second copy game one and actually fucking did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I mean, you have it, you have it. Uh, Herc is a nice one too, because it's from the starter deck and he's just generally a threat, right? Because he just can constantly remove bodies turn after turn. Uh, the Argomon is a one of because I only have one, but I figured in hybrid <laughs> format it would be like a real game winner. Yeah, yeah, Chaos you actually one, had it. It's like the only level seven I think I can use because I don't have Valder Arm, and I think I, I think I made this Chaos Mon as part of like the free rares that we got from oh, yeah. BT four, and this was like I built made it back then because it had any of the other rares I wanted, so I was like this could be good in the future if I go back to green. And yeah. Hey, uh, for my lifeline, I went for the commons slash uncommons because I only pulled two Tordos and I decided to craft two more. And then I crafted two more uh, Jagamons because that's I only had one. So, but you know, that evens out the costs. Three Jaga mm -hmm. for. Uh, Did you even do your SR rare craft? Did you just I get didn't. that this week? I forgot about <laughs> nice. that entirely. All right, all right. Well, thank it, record it. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Make sure it's good, yeah. Uh, oh, cool, yeah, I got beat up so. by Gacha Green. 10 level 6. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's like, uh, if you're playing Gacha, you gotta play a high count of greens anyway. Yeah. It's a very toolboxy approach as well. I like a Bonwu because it's like, sec plus 1, right? Oh, Darati, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do you got? This is like... Uh, it's like boneless cherubi, man. Yeah. <laughs> I pulled uh, pretty these. I mean, these bushy salads have been in every deck I've made, so it's kind of yeah, hard know, to stick right? with them. <laughs> uh, when I saw the four boko, I was like, I think I can make it work. <laughs> uh, I even went back into BT7 with my five extra packs. I had two, three Lowe Kaiser, and I ended up getting an extra copy of each of them, but. Missed out on more Rihis or Cherubis. I also had the three Koichi before I went back in as well. Mm -hmm. So it looked makeable. And remembering that I have access to starter deck mat to be a two drop. Because when I realized I didn't have Mimis, I was like, oh no. <laughs> I have a really low tamer count to try to play this deck. Yeah, that's what put me off for playing Blue Hybrid. Because like Horikakus and Kumas were easy to get. But I drew, I got like no Tommies. Like zero Tommies. Yeah, I think I got two Tommy. I remember at least two. But... Yeah, no Wyverns bombs. Fly bullets okay. Uh, but yeah, just a little bit of heals. Uh, but yeah, I did not think I was going to be able to get the pinata playoff, and it didn't happen. 
I mean, Three the mobs are scary, right? for it. The, the, yeah. I kept making threats and you kept removing them. Yeah. Yeah, I think I saw every fly bullet every game. <laughs> I saw all three each game. But, ah, the deck was cool. I just wish I could add it. Uh, more reheats, at least. <laughs> yeah. But, oh, man. I don't know what to do next week, then. Do I just take the this deck? Probably not, right? Hmm. BT8's oh. a huge, <laughs> huge. Yeah. We'll see what we pull from BT8. There could be some 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 nice stuff there. It's, it's funny that you're just trying to keep looking for a deck so you can play the three defeats, and, and I heavily considered it <laughs> banning the defeats because it's like you just kept running them and everything. I mean, why not? Three holy waves, <laughs> three defeats. I have 44 card decks. <laughs> Try and put them in there. <laughs> you checked two, and they just didn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Bottom of the bottom security defeat God. set. I'm just glad we're off of meta, right? Like, what? <laughs> like, after last week, last two weeks were just like, Lord Knight versus Gabubon, Gabubon versus security control, and now, Green Gacha versus Cherubi? A boneless <laughs> Cherubi? This is like, this is great. <laughs> this is, this is really <laughs> progression. Yeah, yeah, this is post bandless. What the fuck are we playing? <laughs> Yeah, yeah but yeah, we got here. some powerful sets coming up, and uh, we'll definitely be. It'll it'll be hard to stick on a strategy for a week. Eight and nine are really powerful sets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is EX two in between those, or when are we getting that? Yeah, EX two is in between those. Um, yeah, I get yeah. to play. I wonder if I play Behel's then during then. We'll have to see what I pull then. <laughs> it'll be exciting. Yeah, yeah, it'll be hyped. Well, let's see what happens next week. We'll see you happen. GG. GG. See you, see you, see you next week, everyone.